What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very, very special episode of Fun Bros Food. As you can tell by who's standing next to me, today we are going to be covering something Vietnamese. Alright, so we got with us none other than Richie Lee, Linda D. We're in the back of the Saigon Soul Restaurant in Kent, Washington, and today we are taking you beyond pho. So a lot of you guys, when you do go to the Vietnamese spot, probably get your typical pho, bun bò hue, your vermicelli bowls, maybe your bun mis, but today we are going to go beyond all that. So we're going to try some authentic Vietnamese food that you guys probably haven't tried before, but you guys need to check it out. Saigon Soul! Beyond pho, let's go! Let me yeah. serve you, man. Well, I actually just got back from Vietnam. Weren't you there yourself, too? I was there as well, yeah. I went from the <laughs> north to the south. I was up in <laughs> Halong Bay. I was everywhere, everywhere, man. Does this food look pretty authentic? It looks pretty authentic. I'm excited to try this. Yo, man, I ain't never been to Vietnam, so let me just sip this cafe suit out and try to get in the mood. <laughs> Meat Glang, a.k.a. Yellow, yellow noodle, noodle soup. soup. Yellow power. These are not egg noodles. These are actually colored with turmeric powder, just like the bun say a quail egg right here. Hey, and Richie. Linda, you were saying you've seen people actually eat this after the club in Vietnam? Yeah, it's like a street food. It's really fast and quick to make. They have like noodles on the side and they just pour in the soup. Ooh, man, when I'm picturing street food, man, I can hear the sounds right now. I can see the little plastic yeah. table. A lot of shrimpy flavor. It's spicy. It, the broth kind of reminds me of umru. Oh, a bit. yeah, a little crabby. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like the quail egg is might be the most slept on egg of 2017. <laughs> the creamy consistency inside is perfect. I like sometimes breaking the quail egg and just like mix it in with the broth. Shrimp got the skin on it, but you know it's so well cooked that I'm just gonna eat the whole thing, man. Mm. What level of importance would you say knowing me Kwong is to knowing Vietnamese food? Oh man, I would say if you are trying to get to that maybe intermediate level, you would have to know about this, man. Vietnamese girl, and you have Nikuan, she's gonna be like, whoa! This is next level. <laughs> super Viet, <laughs> man. This is next level. Control, aka catfish soup. I'm telling you, you never had anything that tastes like this. It's a sour, it's pungent, it's really tangy, really refreshing. I actually grew um, up eating this with yo, my family. I, the sourness is... I never seen pineapple and okra right next to each other. Would you guys say this is more in the intermediate levels of Viet food? This is like intermediate advanced though, because I grew up eating this. Like my mom only makes that whole. You don't normally get this at the restaurant. No, not at all. I've never even seen this at a restaurant in my life. Damn. Actually, uh, growing up, I always ate this with rice. We got rice though. Steaming, it's hey. still steaming. It's still steaming. For those of you who don't know, catfish is very popular in Vietnam. They get it mostly from the Mekong River. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the catfish and put it on the plate. Oh. And we're gonna pour the fish sauce on it. We got yeah. the fish sauce. All right, and we go just a little bit, not too much. We're being okay, real subtle stop, stop with stop it. Don't be shy with the wind. Come on, now. Now we talking. This is of the fish soaked fish. All right. Yo, it's like pineapple fish extract. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 go in. Oh. Hey, look, hey, Richie, you, you missed half of it. <laughs> nah, just a tip, man. <laughs> just looking at this, my mouth is watering because I know how the sour tastes. Mm, get some soup. Damn. That is sour and sweet, like hot and sour soup. Yo, you guys, you guys gotta take a look at this. I see pineapples. I see okra. Mm. I see tomatoes. I see fish. I see broth. bean sprouts. And the key is the broth, which is tamarind flavor. It has a very summery feel. It's very light, right? It's yeah. not too heavy. Now we are going over drink break. Drink one of my all time favorite Asian drinks. Talk to him, man. This is the egg soda. So it's pretty simple. It usually has soda water. It has that sweet condensed milk and it has egg yolk in it. It is kind of weird to think about it at first. You're eating a raw egg mm -hmm. in your soda. I don't know. You just got to taste it and then I think you'll be converted. It's kind of going back to the culture because I think so many people of the second generation kind of lost it or didn't wrap it. So now we got to bring it back. Kind of reminds me of is uh, Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Remember when he ate like 20 oh, eggs? Oh, he's eggs. Go, 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 go. He get large. Right here we have Ga Koto. <laughs> AKA the caramelized catfish right here. I would have it with uh, dao, so which is a rice porridge. Because this is really salty and sweet. And then, you know, rice porridge, pretty subtle. I All like right. dark sauces because they have a very strong flavor. This is similar to like con. If you guys ever had con, it was really fatty. What do we call rice, guys, in Indian? Gum. When it comes to this flavor, they also make this with um, a lot of pork, too. Yeah. Yo, I heard actually a way to cook it is to braise the pork belly in with the fish. My mom would throw eggs in it, and yeah. the eggs would soak up all of this sauce as well. Can I have a little bit of that caramel sauce on my rice? Yeah. It's very 
yeah, it's like very thick sauce. I it's like very sweet, a little bit salty. I can see how eating with the rice or rice porridge would definitely tone it down. This is actually one of my top three favorite Vietnamese dishes. Wow, that's it's a heavy statement. Yeah. Heavy it is. Heavy <laughs> Next up, we've got some finger foods. We have goi cua nam nương. We also got the very trendy nook mom wings. These are deep fried chicken wings infused with some nook mom sauce, and fish sauce. You might think that these are only an American fusion type thing, but they actually serve these in Vietnam pretty frequently. Personally, really like about the chicken wings here. It was cooked, but not overcooked at all. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, very, very lightly true. cooked. For me personally, I like chicken wings with very little to no batter. That pretty much had no batter. I like it. Okay, okay. So this is really different because this is Ooh. processed grilled pork. So you guys see that, that beautiful line there. Mm. You, yeah. you know, you don't <laughs> usually think about grilling a processed meat. Yo, there's a fried chip in it right here. And this is going to add that super crunch to the roll right here. This doesn't have any of uh, the vermicelli noodles. Yeah, a lot yeah. of spring rolls will have the vermicelli in the middle. This is really just lettuce. You got the daikon, you got the carrots, you got the chip, and you got the nem noodles. This is like a sweet peanut sauce that we're going to dip into with crushed peanuts on it. It's kind of like a burrito, but the skin texture is rice paper. So. Definitely has that crunch in it. It's almost like you're eating a salad roll. Yeah. Something I notice about this sauce, I always feel like it's part peanuts, part hoisin sauce. Mm -hmm. This is very sweet, has that hoisin flavor. There's also a raw version that a lot of people eat. It has like a pepper on top, it has a piece of garlic. They sell it at a lot of delis. Those are fire too. All right, over here we have the bánh canh cua, which is crab soup noodles. Ooh. I've seen this served with like shredded crab before yeah. inside it. You can actually see a little bit of the shredded crab. Oh, oh there we go. Look, there there we go. Go. Oh, there you go. The consistency here is really gooey. It's really good. And like the noodles are kind of like Japanese udon noodles. It's like slurping it up, like a little slurping. They have crabby patties. Yeah. Your crabby noodles. Yeah. Got it. it was as crabby as the Mi Kong was chickeny, and I like the Mi Kong a lot. And this reminds me of the Mi Kong in the sense that the Mi Kong captured the chicken essence. Mm -hmm. This is capturing the crab essence. And there's real crab. This is not the fake imitation crab that you get at the uh, you know Safeway mm -hmm. deli. This is the real, real, real deal. It's definitely different than other noodle soups because you can't really slurp it. It's almost more like a gravy. Mm -hmm. It's different, but as far as flavor-wise, even has more flavor because it's thicker. I know you said you like to put the smooth quail egg yolk into your soup sometimes and mix it in. I'm gonna do that. Oh. What level of Vietnamese food would you put this at? Oh man. Was, this was is, that advanced? This is, this is advanced. Can you tell your girl I want some bánh canh cua today, not pho? They'll be just like, what? It's like crab extract. Yeah. You know how there's like mango Mango puree to make the mango pudding. Mm -hmm. This is like crab puree. So right here we have bun man beef. It's not often where you see the noodle soup with the meat on the side like this, right? <laughs> this is a duck bamboo noodle soup. Yeah. Okay. This is bamboo. And right here at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken, this should be like a vinegary sauce at the bottom. It's like a chicken salad, but you eat it together, but you have to dip the sauce in its garlic. Mm -hmm. And you eat it with the noodles. The noodles here, bam, right there. The thing about duck meat, it's all dark meat. Uh, can you please sauce my duck piece? This I love is this is one of my sauce with garlic. This Thank is one of my know. favorite dips in the Vietnamese. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a bite. I'm going in on the duck. You guys going in on the duck? All right, going let's go. In. Three, two, one. Very fatty. Let me duck that one. Let me dip that one more time. Did you say let me duck that in? Yeah, I said let me duck that dip one more time. Mm. That vinegar with the cabbage and then put the duck in it. It's pretty. Oh good. my god. All right, you know, guys. Uh, Growing up, fried rice was one of my favorite dishes, so it is my honor to introduce the Saigon fried rice. They took the meat from the bun meat and put it in the fried rice. There's string beans in it, uh, there's a lot of pepper, there's corn, there's peas, all types of stuff. When I try the Vietnamese version of dishes that I've seen in the Chinese version before, I know that the Viet version is coming with the flavors that you savor. I see some eggs in here, I see some carrots, I see the pork. Cilantro. Man, these are big chunks of pork, man. The thing I like about the Vietnamese fried rice is, is it uses a lot of black pepper. You can see the pepper on the rice, like those little spots, that's pepper. I like that. All right guys, so right now we got some dessert. This is Jia Ba Mao, which translates to three colored dessert. We have finished our Beyond Pho feast. Linda, what is something in Vietnamese we can say to end the meal? Saying non which means really good. Non Aren't you guys in the comments section below? Make sure you let us know. Number one, what was your favorite thing that we ate? Number two, make sure you let us know what other cuisines we need to dive deeper into and make sure you name some of the dishes. And number three, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and share this video with anybody who needs to know something beyond pho. Definitely make sure you check out Richie Lee 23. Make sure you check out Linda D Productions. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.
All right, guys, thank you for checking out the video. Linda, you just went to Vietnam, didn't you? I did, and it was amazing, and you did too? I just went for a couple of weeks. Definitely a lot of good food out there. Oh, shout out to the Viet YouTubers. From Yeah One TV. Yeah, and some uh, boy, she's repping hard Vietnam right now. She's yeah. super cool. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out our channel. Mine is uh, Richie Lee 23 And mine's Zenity Productions. Shout out to the Fun Brothers for having us, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Brothers. It's good to be back home. All right, guys. Peace.